Simply put, optimization is using calculus and various other math skills to find a maximum or minimum value in a real-life situation. For example, let's say you had a garden that was 900 square feet and you wanted to surround it with flowers that were spaced two feet apart. Uh, however, being on a limited budget, perhaps, you want to spend the least amount of money on flowers, meaning the least number of flowers to surround the same area. So the problem here is, what is the least number of flowers that you can use to still surround a garden, which is, in this case, 900 square feet? Step one to solve this problem is to draw a picture. Uh, so we here have a rectangle of 900 square feet with an unknown length and an unknown width. Uh, and we are going to find a perimeter because we are surrounding the garden with flowers, so surrounding the box with flowers, hypothetically. Uh, number two, you want to come up with algebraic re expressions that will represent the problem we have. In this situation, we have a rectangle and we are solving for a perimeter and we have an, a known area, so we will use the area formula and a perimeter formula, uh, respectively. Area is length times width, and perimeter is 2 times length plus 2 times width. Um, from here, we can create a secondary relationship that we can use to solve the problem. To create the secondary relationship, we need to narrow down the problem so that we can use one variable. Uh, as you can see, right now, it says that area is length times width, uh, meaning area is equals to two variables. Uh, however, because you want to use one variable, we can say we can set area to 900 feet, uh, 900 square feet, and solve for either length or width. In this case, we said width was 900 over L. From there, you can use that secondary relationship and plug it into the perimeter formula to solve for the perimeter. So, just take this W, this width, and plug it back into that width of the perimeter formula. So you get perimeter is two lengths, two times length plus two times 900 over L, and perimeter equals two L squared plus 1800 over L. And that is using just one variable, which is what we want. Step five, you want to take the derivative of this problem uh, of the perimeter in this case, and doing so, we will be able to find the minimum later on. Uh, 2L squared plus 1800 over L is a division problem, and you will need to use the quotient rule to get the derivative. Uh, after you go through the processes, eventually you will say, see that perimeter, uh, the derivative of the perimeter is 2L squared minus 1800 over L squared. And because we are looking for the minimum value, we need to find the critical points. Uh, in order to find the critical points, you just need to set the numerator and the denominator equal to zero. When you set the numerator equal to zero, you will get plus or minus 30 as the length. Uh, however, this being a real life situation, you cannot have a negative length. Uh, therefore, you can disregard it and just go with a positive value. And when you set the denominator equal to zero, that creates an undefined problem, and in real life there's no such thing as undefined length or undefined anything uh, for that matter. So when L equals zero, that creates an asymptote, and we cannot use that. Uh, finally, to find the minimum value, you're going to have to take the standard steps, standard procedures to find the extrema of the derivative. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, the critical value would, was positive 30, where when x was 30, uh, the derivative of x was 0. In order to find or decide the extrema, you're going to have to look at values that are less than 30 and less and greater than 30. Uh, in this situation, we are going to use negative 100 and positive 100. When you plug negative 100 into the derivative, you get a negative value, and when you plug in 100 into the derivative, you get a positive answer, meaning that uh, this, this critical point is indeed a minimum. Uh, so this is gives the answer to the problem, which was the least number of flowers you can use to solve or to surround the area of the garden. 
Uh, finally, you want to summarize it all in a statement and just say that the least number or the least amount of flowers, the least number of flowers needed to surround the garden occurs when length is 30 and when width is 30. Uh, by the way, you can get width by plugging it back into the original area formula right here. And if you plug in 30 for there, you also get 30 for that because that's 900. So, back to this. Uh, if you remember, each flower is spaced two feet apart instead of just one foot or any other feet uh, distance for that matter. And you can plug it back into the perimeter formula. Uh, two times 30 plus two times 30 divided by two. That just cancels out these twos. And you would end up with 60 flowers. So, 60 flowers total will be able to surround the 900 square feet garden. Thanks for watching.